Hey, welcome back to BedSquid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my six steps to sharing your presentation in Google Meet. So the issue that a lot of us are facing during blended and online learning is that when you share a presentation, then it goes full screen. You can't see your participants on the Google Meet anymore. Anyway, well, I'm gonna show you six steps to solve this problem. Step one, I want you to start your Google Meet as usual. Now, whether that's from your calendar or an instant meeting, it doesn't really make a difference. I'm gonna go ahead and start a meeting here and start an instant meeting. And this could be a meeting from like a link from a classroom, from the Google Classroom. However you start your meeting, just start your meeting as usual. Here we are, so I've started my meeting here. Step two, open up the presentation that you wanna share. So in this case, I'm gonna to go to my drive here. We are dealing with uh, Google Slides, so I'm gonna to go to my drive. So this is the presentation that I wanna share. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Step three, now you're gonna be tempted to present this using this present button. Don't do that. Click on this little arrow and start in presenter view. So I'm gonna go ahead and do presenter view. So you can see that this has opened up another tab. If I go back to the original, you can see that my presentation is in full screen. Step four, what I want you to do now is separate out the tabs. Now this is really, really simple. All you need to do is hold down the tab and drag down. That opens up the tab in a new browser window. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the presenters view. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go click on mission control. So this is mission control. How do I get there? I do a three finger swipe up on my MacBook. Now, if you're not familiar with that, let me quickly go and show you. So, and if that doesn't work for you, this is just a little side tip here. Click on the Apple logo, go to system preferences, go to trackpad, and then you're gonna click on mission control. Make sure mission control is on because it's gonna allow you to see all the apps open, all the tabs open at the same time. So sticking here with step four, I wanna go back to the original browser and I wanna separate the Google Meet as well. So here we go, let's go back to the original browser and I'm gonna pull down, I'm gonna go to my Google Meet and I'm gonna pull this down, okay? So here we go, I've opened up my Google Meet as a separate browser. Let's go back to the original and I wanna go to the presenter view and I wanna pull that down as a separate window as well. So now if I do my three finger swipe up or I click this button on the, on the mouse, it opens up mission control. You can see here, I've got all of my different tabs open up. These are opened up as separate windows, okay? Separate browser windows. Now that's really, really important. For step five, we're gonna do split screen. Now, since we're in App Expose or this mission control where you can see all the windows, this is what you're gonna do. Just drag the presenter view on top of your Google Meet. And you see what that does automatically, it creates a split view. So now you can see that I've got my, um, my Google Meet here. And if I had several participants, they would come up here, I would see everyone here. And I've got my um, presenter view on the other side as well in my split screen. Now look, my presentation, my presentation is still going on. This is live. Step six, this is the last and final step. What I want you to do is I want you to share a tab. So click on present now. And instead of the entire screen or a window, we're gonna do a tab. So go ahead and present a tab and then click on the presentation that you've got live. So here's my presentation that's live. I'm gonna go ahead and press share. Now this by default takes you back to the tab that you're sharing, it doesn't matter. Just do that three finger swipe, okay? And then go back to um, the split screen. So here you can see now, I am presenting to my students, my participants, the presentation that is going on live. And at the same time, I have my controls here, my navigation controls to go through my presentation. So as I click on this next, okay, look, if I keep on clicking, clicking next here, my presentation is advancing to the next slide or the next animation or the next part that comes up. And at the same time, I've got my keynotes here. I can, I can you know, read through my notes and be on top of this presentation, so I know what I'm presenting here. And also, I've got an embedded video. If I keep pressing on next, you can see here that the presentation audio is also um, enabled. So students can hear all the audio that is presented in that Google slide. So actually, if I go, if I carry on going here next and next, I've got a, a video in my slide here. So if I press on next, my video will automatically start and the students will be able to hear the video and they can also see the video because I'm presenting it. Students articulate and set personal learning goals, develop strategies leveraging technology to achieve them and reflect on the learning. Okay, I'm going to talk over this. If I go back to my presentation, this is what students are seeing and they can actually see this moving, the presentation, the video is actually playing. I'm going to go ahead and pause this here. At the same time, I can engage with them. So I can go to, you know, I could create breakout rooms here. 
um, I could do a Q&A, I could do a poll, whatever I need to do. Um, you know, the whole point of it is my camera's on, their camera's on, we're still collaborating, we're still engaging, uh, everyone's actively participating. At the same time, I'm presenting my Google slide with audio and I can also advance as well. Listen, I hope that was helpful. If you haven't yet, then consider subscribing. Uh, share this with a colleague. I know everyone is um, sort of struggling with presenting and looking at the participants at the same time. This will be helpful to someone, if not yourself, one of your colleagues. And as always, I'll catch you the next one.